Hey guys, this is Lejoni Ron here. So uh, I'm gonna add a new section to my channel. It's just gonna be uh, instructionals uh, for FL Studio. So you guys know I use FL Studio. If you haven't, now you do. Fruity Loops, I've been using it for about 10 years. A lot of misconceptions about Fruity Loops. Hopefully this part of my, or section of my channel tends to cover that up. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll knock out some of those myths. Uh, today I'm gonna start with automation control see this automation control down here that's where we're going to start uh, so basically automation control is just basically what it is instead of uh, you manually turning a knob or pushing that button automation control can take care of it for you um, and I'm going to show you the basic method to do automation control and then basically from there any knob or button you want can be automated um, and I'll, uh, I guess we might as well get into it. So here I pulled up the uh, the channel rack and I just have a basic 4-4 kick measured out here. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, it's making a kick noise and, and, and the speakers is gonna sound like a high pitched tick or whatever, but I promise you the metronome, see, the metronome is off. So uh, when you guys see it, you guys will notice here that it'll be uh, automated because I'm going to automate the panning so you guys can see that it actually works and, and how it looks visually. Um, I'm also going to show you guys uh, the knob here because this is the knob that I plan on automating. So we're just going to get into it. We're going to um, go to the uh, to the view channel track here. I'm going to use the, the kick obviously because that's the one that I've got the, the notes uh, slated to. And I use the uh, paintbrush, which basically just lathers on the uh, the uh, instrumental panes here, the the, the your, your workflow into this uh, what what they would call the playlist. Uh, that's the name of it right here. And I have a 4/4 kick, real basic. BPMs are probably uh, well here. I got them at 130. This is your uh, tempo meter right here. And um, so basically, just to jump into it, uh, what I, to answer this specific question, the uh, automation control here, uh, this is how you execute it. So you click on the instrument pane itself. You would therefore proceed to right click or on a Mac, you use two fingers or if you have a Mac mouse, and you would right click that, depending on how you have your mouse set up, of course. Um, and then you would go to, uh, create automation clip and now you can see once I click that the automation clip is instantly I did that by accident sorry you can see the automation clip is instantly created here and because I decided to automate the panning well of course you know what the panning is just gonna pan pan your stuff left to right so I'm going to click on the uh, draw button and I'm just gonna draw the uh, Automation notes here. Is it the paintbrush? Is it the paintbrush? Where's this thing? Okay, yeah. So I'm going to click on the draw. I'm going to right click on a few notes here that actually go and create the panning. And I'm going to uh, send one way to the left and I'm going to send one way to the right. And then I'm going to continue to do this. Now another thing that automation allows you to do is that you can, uh, instead of continuing this for the entire track or song, you can just take a portion of this and you can uh, take it, click on it, and you're essentially cutting and pasting throughout the entire song and you can do that with the patterns as well when you're in the uh, draw mode for your for your uh, playlist. And what, you have to be in the playlist and on jar mode to have that happen. And if you notice here, I'm in pattern mode, so you really don't see anything right now. Pattern mode basically gives you the ability uh, to select a single instrument or whatever's in this pattern, and that's all that gets played. It gets looped continuously. So I have to click the song button up here to actually see the uh, automation clip work. and. The evidence of it working is that you see me panning here, I'll pan 
mainly panning to the right and to the left. And then it'll loop back, it'll pan to the right now, it'll pan to the left. And it's modeling this, uh, this panning channel that I have here. And if you also uh, take a look at your uh, mixer, you can see that it's panning uh, in the channels as well. And my volume is incredibly low because if I turn the volume up the speaker in the speakers, it's going to be really, really pitchy and it's not going to sound like a kick. But I'll do it just for the demonstration and then I'll turn it back down. See right now I have it virtually on, uh, I think it's working on 5%. But if I turn it up, you can see the effects more readily of how that channel is panning via the automation. So you can see it has this panning left to right, it's also panning on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this back down. So uh, that's not as loud and as clicky. And uh, that's pretty much it for this particular uh, lesson. That's just a lesson in automation clips. Uh, Certain buttons and other features can be automated. Uh, knobs here, for example, your automation clips can be automated. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do with this and you can really get creative with it as well. Um, so yeah, that's it for this particular video. This is Lejeune Ron. Thank you for watching Automation Control. Um, hopefully, if I get positive feedback on these, I'll create more. Until then, guys, uh, Thank you, and thank you for participating, and uh, yeah. <laughs> this is Lashoni Ron. Come check me out. Thank y'all for listening and watching. I'm going to need y'all to like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. And tell your friends about me. Peace.